saying thank you, Felicia, for picking me up at the airport. Great. She expected nice to be polite here. at a time like this. Well, you one does it? hope, you know what I mean. All right, tell me what really happened. You went to New York and, and, and you kept passing out. Uh, honey, your message didn't make a hell of a lot Where of sense. Where did you change you know, costumes at that party? All right. I will never eat guacamole again. I promise you. Who suggested you. the change? What difference does that make? Don't you get it? No! You lost time at that party. I haven't blacked out in years, and you know I that, lost Cass. time in New York City. Everything about these Lumina types stinks higher than, than last year's sushi. And now, Lila is hearing her baby cry. Listen to me. It's not Lila that I'm worried about right now. I think you need to calm down a little bit. I don't. I'm not going to calm down. And I'm not going to give up until Lila has her baby back in her arms where she belongs. Hey, step on it! I think they had a real good time. He's Halloween party. Maybe a little too much candy. Yeah, maybe. A little over tired. Here, can you take one? I can help you out. Sure. Got him. Goodbye, no man. Oh, everybody cry. Matthew. Hey, hey. Not you, too. I can't deal with this. Yes, you can. And you will. Just hang on a little while longer. But who would do that? Uh, who, who would take a new baby away from its mother? Take me to Lumina. Maybe they can help me find my baby. I'll do whatever I can to help you, Lila. Let's go. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, Cass... Cass said he was on his way over here. I, I should wait. Cass thinks Lumina's behind this. I should wait. I should tell Matt what Cass said. You heard your baby cry, didn't you? I think I did. I mean, I, I, I could swear that I did. Then it doesn't matter what Cass says. What matters is that you need to be around people who can believe you. Not some cynic who, who, who can't believe. Well, if she's crying for me now. Then let her tell you where she is. Just like you told her how to move from the breach position. You think I should go to Lumina. You think I should go, don't you? It's your decision. But yes. Emma. Resting finally. Listen, I just talked to Joe, and he said the whole percent's working double shifts on their own time looking for Jasmine. I know. I saw him today. Thank him for me. I will. Listen, why don't you have something to eat? You must be starving. Uh, no, maybe I should bring some of that stuff up to Lila. No, honey. Just let her alone. She is alone. She's up there alone. And I, I got you guys. Lila, that's how she wants to deal with this. Completely on her own. She's a lot tougher than I ever thought she would be. In the elevator, you know what she said to me? Just when I thought I was going to lose her, she said that Jasmine was the only person ever to love her back. I can understand that. Well, you don't have to anymore. So tonight, when I saw those kids in those costumes, I got it. Those kids will always be wanted, always be loved, like I was. Like you are. Yeah, but Lila didn't have that. That is why she will do anything she has to to give her baby a real family. I thought she was after the money and the name. But now I understand. I would give anything. I would pay any price to have Jasmine running around here with a little pumpkin dressed up like a ghost. You're gonna get her back, Matt. She's gonna be here. She's gonna be right in this room with all of us. And we'll love her. We already do, Matt. Because she's already our family. You know, Lila says she hears Jasmine crying. Well, that's normal. That's just stress. No, you don't understand, Mom. She says she hears her crying. When Allie was kidnapped, I, I could have sworn that I heard her too. And she was telling me to find her and that, that she was scared. And that got you through, right? That's one of the reasons I survived the cave-in. Well, that's what Lila's doing. She's just trying to get through. You don't think that that really could be? I mean, our, our real baby really crying? Hello? Oh, hi, Cass. Um, listen, we're trying to keep this line open. Cass, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't let you talk to Lila. She's asleep. Give me, give me the phone. 
I, I, I don't care what's going on in New York. I can't let you talk to Lila. Hey, Cass. Hey. Leave Lila alone. You've upset her. <laughs>